Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial at The Marketing Guy. Continuing from the last tutorial where we looked at a lot of different campaign objectives that Facebook has to offer to us, let's select one of the campaign objectives now and try and get into a little more detail. So let's go to create ads. And let's give our campaign a name. Let's call it page likes the marketing guy page likes comes under engagement so if you select engagement as an objective you will see you have post engagement page likes event responses and offer claims so we want page likes and let's continue we have to select a Facebook page so let's select the marketing guy so you can create advertisements for different kinds of pages that you own on Facebook so let's create one for the marketing guy and we have to create an ad set name uh, for now let's just call it ad set one now as I told you in one of the previous videos that after you select a campaign objective you have to make an ad set and the ad set is divided into four different parts, starting from the page that we just selected, then defining the audience, the placement of your ad, and then deciding the budget and schedule for your ad. So let's begin with deciding the audience. Now, as you can see that uh, on the right hand side, Facebook has something called audience definition. Whatever the audience you decide, it will show you the potential reach that you have and the estimated daily reach. That is the number of people you will reach on Facebook daily. This is an audience detail that is already pre-selected from one of the previous ads that I created. So we're going to go ahead and just remove everything. There you go. Now we can start defining the audience. You can use a saved audience if you have one already or a custom audience which you've already created. We'll get into creating custom audiences or lookalike audiences in other videos. But for now, let's create an audience from scratch. So you have to start by deciding the location. So you could add any country, any city throughout the world. For now, um, let's add Mumbai in India. This is where I'm based out of. So once you select a city, you can give it a radius of anywhere between 10 to 25 miles. So I'm going to select a radius of 10 miles to get more accuracy. And that's it. So while creating audience, always keep in mind who your target audience is and that is who you're trying to reach out to. So for me, uh, if you're creating an ad for the marketing guy, uh, we'll have to keep in mind that the audience should be such who would be interested in the kind of tutorials that I'm making. Um, let's select an age group. So I define the age group to be, let's say people in the age group of 22 to, I know, say 40. All genders, the language will have to be English. As you see, as I keep adding more and more criteria, the audience is getting defined here and the potential reach as of now is 4.9 million people. That's a lot of people. We can get into more detailed targeting. Um, and there are n number of ways you can target people on Facebook, starting with demography, their education, what generation they belong to, their, their household composition, life events like did they just get married or did they just get into a relationship? Uh, are they parents? What are their political views? But this is specific to US. What is their relationship status? Where do they work? What industry do they work in? So those are the demography factors. Other than that, you can target people based on interest. What business or industry are they interested in? Um, what sort of entertainment are they interested in? Uh, family relationships, fitness, hobbies and activities, shopping and lots and lots of kind of categories, their behavior, sorry, 
their behavior is there an anniversary coming up what kind of consumer classification in india do they fall into uh, their digital activities are they gamers what kind of operating systems are they using so if you have an app only for say android you could uh, you could narrow it down to just people who have android phones um, are they event creators what browser are they using uh, what is their primary email domain so if you want to target only gmail users for some reason are they expats um what mobile device are they using how much do they travel are they frequent travelers do they travel for business did they just return from travel did they use a travel app so those are the different kind of behaviors you can target on and finally there's something called more categories for some reason this is now only fast food and nail care so as you can see there are lots and lots of ways you can target people on facebook so for this ad i would i would urge you to please go and you know sort of go through this entire list and try and see how you can mix and match different kinds of targeting so let's narrow it down to people who have the educate who are college graduates for now for my page and okay so now what happens is if i add say anything else here uh for example um who have a relationship status of being in a relationship okay now what's happened here is facebook will show my ad to people as long as they fulfill any of these two criteria if they are in a relationship they would see my ad or if they are a college grad they will see my ad um uh, it's an or condition that we are using here either this or this to use an and condition what we can do is we can select narrow audience and then select an option here there you go now my ad is only going to show to people who are college graduates and in a relationship so as you can see the potential reach is much more lower now but obviously i don't specifically need people who are in a relationship so um let's narrow down the audience to something else you can just search for things here uh, i could i could search for people who are interested in marketing There you go. The reach is about three hundred sixty thousand people. Um, I could search for people who. This is something very interesting. I think it's under behavior. Facebook page admins. So people who are Facebook page admins, if they are a Facebook page admins, they are very very likely to. To like the content that I'm that I'm producing, hopefully. and then you can also select the kind of connections you're trying to target to if you want to exclude people uh, who've liked your page or include them in the ad so i want to exclude people who have already liked my page from this ad and finally i can go ahead and save this audience and use it for ads another ad set now let's see the audience i've defined is people in india mumbai in the 10 mile radius from mumbai who have not liked the marketing guy so far the age group 22 to 40 who speak in english education level college grad and they must either be interested in marketing or be an admin of a facebook page and the reach is 560000 people let's move into placements now there's something called automatic placements which is basically facebook is going to decide where it is best to show your ad and there's something called edit placements where you can decide on where you want this ad to show so um the device type mobile desktop only or all devices i'm cool with all devices now does the ad show on facebook instagram now now keep in mind we're trying to create a page like ad so there is no point of showing this ad on instagram or the audience network or facebook messenger 
For some of you who don't know what audience network is, it is something very similar to the Google Display Network. Uh, Facebook has created its own audience network where different websites uh, can po put ads on their site and these ads will be made via the Facebook ad manager and they can earn from Facebook. So we get into that later. Uh, so the only option available to us for page like ads is Facebook and under Facebook there are different options like feeds, the news feed or instant articles, uh, in stream videos or the right column. So let's say I want to show my ad only to people on the Facebook news feed. There you go, the placement is Facebook feeds. And finally moving on to budget and schedule. You can put in a daily budget or a lifetime budget for uh, the campaign. Let me let me start with say a daily budget of just 100 rupees because I'm just trying to test this ad. Um, and the schedule is, I think there's a bottom, you cannot go below 40 rupees, I think. Yeah, 40 rupees for page like ads. So for me, let's say we'll start with 100 rupees. Now scheduling. Do you want your ad to run continuously from now or do you want it to have a start date or an end date? Um, I can, I just want it to run continuously. Optimization for ad delivery. Um, what are you trying to optimize this ad for? For impressions, for likes. So when it comes to page like ads, the only option you've got is page like. So Facebook will try and show your audience to people who are more likely to like your ad. That is what this means. The bid amount, how much do you want to pay? Do you want it to be automatic, which means Facebook decides what's the best bid for you? Or do you want to go for manual bidding where you decide? When do you get charged impressions? Now, uh, what are the more, I have an option of page like or impressions. So impression is basically I'm gonna pay every time my ad is served to someone or do I want to pay every time someone likes my page? So I'm gonna shift this to page like, cause I want to be able to pay only when someone likes my page and not for them to just view my ad. So now Facebook is gonna try and optimize the ad and optimize the campaign to make sure that people like the ad and I can decide on a manual bidding or an automatic bidding. For manual, Facebook is gonna give me a suggested bid. I always prefer to leave it at automatic. Ad scheduling. Do you want your ads to run all the time or do you want it to run on a schedule? Uh, but the ad scheduling works only for lifetime budgets. Let's give it a try. Let's say I have a lifetime budget of, okay, 20,000 rupees, run it on a schedule, there you go. Now I can actually pick and decide when I want my ad to show to people. If you remember in, while we were going through the insights tab, we, we saw that uh, you were able to track when are your users most active on Facebook, you might want to target ads to those users at those time of the day for best reach. But for this particular campaign, I'm gonna leave it at a daily budget of 100 rupees and run my ad continuously starting today. So the only option for scheduling is run ads all the time. Delivery type, which is standard, uh, show your ads throughout your schedule or accelerated. What this basically means is, do you want Facebook to spread your daily budget across the entire day and make sure you you know you spend the 100 rupees evenly throughout the day or do you want it to be accelerated uh, you know finish off the budget as soon as it is possible so i'd like to keep it at standard and that's it we've created our first ad set uh, we defined the page the audience the placement of the ad the budget and schedule and now we can continue and move towards making the ad itself. But we we'll leave that for another tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Come back and we're going to go over how to create an ad on Facebook. Thank you.